Dallas. Welcome to Doom Spire Defense. Now, originally this video was going to be about Item Asylum, but my laptop is just a. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So they released a new mode called the Red Mode, which is basically the Fall Mode of this game. But I am not doing that because it's basically what happened if you combine Expert Mode from TDX and Hardcore Mode from TDS. So what I'm gonna do instead is I am going to play one of the hardest map, Route 66, which has the insane difficulty on the yellow mode, which is basically the Molten mode if you play TDS, or the Intermediate mode if you play TDX. Now for towers, the developer actually make them very unique compared to others. Well, I think so. Like this tower here. Um, this tower here, the pizza place, is basically a spawner that spawns pizza deliveries onto the enemy site, and it acts more of a like cowboy from TDS. Which, how it works is that each time it attacks an enemy, it gives you money. So like, okay, so here's the example. How? Okay, I'm just gonna skip here. Now look. I'm getting $30 for each enemy that I hit with the pizza place. And if I kill them, that also counts, right? There's also this tower called the machinery, which is very crazy, but I'm gonna get to that later. Okay, now, this is the Rockstar, which is basically um kind of a dj for, for this game this tower deals damage on a radius this radius here and it's an aoe radius so it's actually very strong and not only that it she also boosts nearby towers damage around her on on her attack radius so she's basically a very interesting Early game and late game unit. And now we got the barracks of this game, the spawner, which works just like the spawner from TDX and not TDS because it's a whole different tower at that point. So, yeah. So, it's a spawner that spawns battlers, and each upgrade gives you different battlers that spawns at a different rate. So it's yeah, it's literally just uh, the barracks from TDX and tower battles. And also, I have this little gentleman here named Mr. Ticks. Now he's basically the farm of this game, and nothing really special about him. He's just a farm. Or a stun bait. Okay, now we have the machinery, which is basically what happened if accelerator from TDS have a baby with the engineer from TDS. You get this guy, and oh boy, as if accelerator and engineer combined together was not scary enough for you this guy takes it to a whole new level because his sentry is just built different like i'm gonna show you when i got into his uh last upgrade because his last upgrade turns his sentry into an actual unit Okay, now we got our first machinery that uh, can build a sentry. Now, after this thing, this guy overheats, he builds a sentry. And this sentry, if put on near a uh, path, it can damage any enemies. So, 
basically if any enemies touch that sentry in a path it's gonna take 500 damage and that's only the first level sentry the more uh the higher the machinery level is the higher the sentry health and damage output and also it has can you take like look oh just gone because of that of that sentry uh yeah also i upgrade the the pizza place so now it's now gonna summon a car which gives more money and has more health to deal damage to the enemy so let me just wait for a car yeah, okay there it is there's a car now look look at this car 300 damage and i'm getting 300 many oh okay you did well okay you just you know the drill right 300 hp for a unit that gives me 300 dollars or 200 dollars i think what was that again like like 200 to 300 dollars for just dealing damage and you can put four of those so yeah the developer really knows how to uh make interesting and definitely balanced towers I also forgot to mention uh, those guys on the back there those are called juggernauts and what those guys do is that they stun towers that are near, near them so like if you're placing a tower near a path and they get and those juggernauts get near to them they'll stun them so yeah this map is actually a very bad map for machinery but also a good map because the sentry can collide with the enemies here so yeah it's a pretty much a win-win situation i guess okay yeah see uh that dragon just stunned my rockstar and now she can attack which okay why do i even explain that i, I... Oh, I forgot about these guys. Uh, the cloners. Yeah, they clone themselves and they are not ma that much of a problem because our my machinery just deals very good damage. It just bleeds them. Oh, oh another thing about barracks on this game or spawner, you can summon a unit with 10,000 HP from the spawner. So it's a it's a very good late game tower too and very needed in this type of map where it's very long so hold on. okay i'm gonna upgrade this now look at this um now my towers near here gets a 50 percent damage boost which is very very good but not only that the rock star now at max level gets an ability to stun enemies on her attack radius so if i have lots of enemies in near her i can just use her ability and just stop them and yeah okay now they have bombs not a real problem so yeah okay i need to use this ability and now yeah look that's a very good ability just stuns any unit on that area but instead except for bosses like final boss yeah it's a very good crowd control ability now there's also another tower that's basically the same but it's just a pure support called the boombox and she's basically EDJ from TDX but doesn't give any range or discount buffs so yeah if you wanna uh, if you want your towers to deal more damage and has more fire rate, you're gonna need to bring both Rockstar and Boombox, which really limits your uh, DPS slot. And you're just being a support if you're playing squad. Oh, 
with 29 rocket launchers so the best thing I can say about them is that they're annoying if there are lots of them because the, the amount of stuns that these guys can give you is really annoying so the reason why I put the pizza place and Mr. Ticks on the front there is because to bait the stuns from those rocket launchers I'm just gonna skip because we're pretty safe and here we are at the first boss of the yellow mode the general yeah this game mode has two bosses first being the general and he's very annoying in this map because my dps units are like here and he spawns right over there so my only best way on damaging him is by using my spawn units which is why they're very good and needed here and yeah this is gonna take a while but enjoy the fight of the general Defeated, I got a uh, machine travel max and look at that, that description. Decreased cooldown to 2 seconds, increasing max ticks to 50. Point doesn't need to charge up after recovering from a stun. Needs 1500 damage to build it to build sentry. Increase sentry life to 20 seconds. Sentries fire heavy rounds to 10% of its max HP, which ignores shield and armor. Now you understand why this thing is just built different. Okay, I'm just gonna skip into the final boss because nothing really interesting on the last five waves. So yeah, see you there, fellas. Okay, here we are at the final wave and enjoy this battle between my army and the ex-opponent which is the boss of yellow mode.
I want. So, there are more game modes than just the three regular modes. So subscribe and like if you want to see them. See ya!